All right, 45, determine the intervals of the domain over which the function is continuous. And just like we discussed in number 44, for a function to be continuous, all we have to be worried about right now is can we graph the function without having to lift up our pen or pencil? Number 44, when we graphed that line, there was an open circle at the point P, which was negative one, negative two, right? You'll recall when we were graphing, we had an open circle here at this point, so we had to physically lift up our pencil and then put it back down again to continue graphing our function. Well, let's see if that's the case here with number 45. We've also been given a point. They've identified a point for us, 0, 6. But notice on this graph, the circle is closed in. It's a filled in circle, right? And so what that means is that when we're graphing our parabola, we don't have to pick up our pen or pencil from the graph. So we can continuously graph this function without having to worry about picking up our pencil. And therefore, this function is continuous uh, everywhere, we'll assume, because we've only got a small section of this graph, right? This graph goes on and on and on forever in both directions. And so this here is just a very small snapshot of the graph of the function. But because this point has been identified for us, the vertex here, as being a closed circle, we know that this is part of the graph. This exists, this point, 0, 6, as being part of the graph. And so because we're able to graph the entirety of this function here, we're going to say that it's continuous over the entirety of its domain. Or if we want to write that in interval notation, we'll say that this graph exists from negative infinity. All right, remember negative infinity is way down here. If we kept graphing, the x value would get smaller and smaller and smaller out to negative infinity. And so as it comes up, as we read the graph from left to right, the x value is getting bigger, getting bigger, getting bigger, getting bigger. Well, again, closing circle, so we're not lifting up our pencil from the, from the paper. The x value is getting bigger, getting bigger, getting bigger. And again, it will go out towards positive infinity. And so we can say that the interval uh, for this particular function for which it's continuous is from negative infinity to positive infinity. At no point when graphing this function do we have to lift up our pencil from the paper. And so it's continuous over the entirety of its domain.